Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Faris Rahman. I am from Nanje And today, I will tell you the story of Yoko the Pity Monkey Once upon a time, there was a young monkey named Yoko He was an active and playful monkey He lived with his parents and friends in a beautiful mountain The mountain was covered with huge old trees that grew tall into the sky Some of the trees bore delicious fruits. Every day, Yoko and the other monkeys would eat fruits from the trees hurriedly. It was always cool up there in the mountain. When it rained, the water that flowed down the mountain filled the river with water. Yoko then could see the people from a nearby village come to the river to catch fish. They also bathed and washed their clothes in the river. These people did not disturb the trees or, anima- or the animals that lived there. It made Yoko felt secure about his family and friends. One day, one of the monkeys, Tiro, came screaming and jumping hurriedly from tree to tree. Run! He screamed. Run everyone, a huge monster is coming this way. It's eating all the trees with its large sharp teeth. All the monkeys, birds and other creatures that live in the forest ran for their lives. The sound the monster made was very loud and frightening. They ran away as far as they could. The monkeys stayed where they were until everything was quiet again. When they found their way back, they saw that all the trees were gone. Some people were standing near the monster, which was actually a bulldozer. These people were different from the ones who went to the river to fish or bath. Yoko and other and the other monkeys felt very sad. They did not have a home anymore. There was no food left for them. Eventually, they decided to leave the mountain and find another forest to live in. That's all for, for me. Thank you for thanks for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.